All right, it's late December 1861, and uh, I'm going to start off in the western part of Virginia. Basically, I made a mistake. What I did not know and what I found out um, confirmed through the forum is that a railroad can become um, unusable when it has very harsh weather. And that explained why I couldn't basically move um, move um, units over. So harsh weather is okay, but then when it says very harsh weather, where it's a blizzard, railroad shuts down. So what I'm going to do is this. It's risky, but I think it's worth uh, making this play um, to kind of keep the union's focus away from more important things, let's just say. I'm going to build a depot of uh, one region east of Morgantown. That should be enough to hopefully eventually start to move supply over the railroad from Harvest Ferry. I'm going to make a push towards Union, Pennsylvania. Um, once that is is taken, um, basically, um, how can I, what happens here? They have, well, hmm, now that I'm thinking about it, I thought it would cut off the railroad, but that's actually not the case. They would simply go around. Okay, well, then I'm going to change my mind at the last minute here. If it's not going to cut off the railroad, I think it's not worth... Um, it really isn't worth the risk. So I'm going to pull all of those forces back. Um, all right, who else is going there? Oh, that supply unit, yeah. Um, hopefully these, this will grab some supply. Can that reach? No. Can it go one more? No, okay, it can, it can, so that's as far as it can go. Um, okay, so we're basically still going to build um, the supply unit here. We're not going to attack Union, Pennsylvania. And uh, I'm going to make a, a serious play to hold this as for absolutely as long as, as possible. Um, what's going on over here? Um, yeah, so Winder is holding um, Harper's Ferry. Here's B. Um, Border Guard's now in a strong defensive position, and um, Jackson's command is recovering in in Fredericksburg. Um, out in Kentucky, uh, I'm going to make a bit of a play here. We actually, the Union doesn't have any control over any, anymore, so I'm going to send um, Johnston forward a a region and to take up a more forward defensive position. Um, Meanwhile, another uh, couple of regiments are going to uh, going to come up as as well. Um, I don't. Let's see. I think there's it's pretty quiet over here. Um, you can see there is a little bit of, of movement uh, with the Union moving out. We're going to try to take um, Lawrence uh, this turn, and uh, meanwhile, the rest of the forces are going to hold here, and other forces are going to rally. Rally in Fort Leavenworth. This force still needs to cross before coming down, and I don't think they have enough here to, to push us out. Um, the other, I guess, sort of news is that um, we may begin to see a little bit of action farther out west. Um, you can see the Union force has arrived, albeit with uh, significantly reduced um, significantly reduced power, uh, and um, I'm going to kind of come up here and see what's in in this force. We have we don't really have enough yet to move um, forward, and I want to maintain a presence at uh, El Paso. Um, so, all right, let's uh, run the turn and see what happens. We're definitely going to get hit with some um, supply hits this turn, without a doubt. As you can see here, we have uh, 19, and we need 42. As far as I can tell, these regions aren't really producing much of anything. Um, we might grab a little bit of supply from here if, if we're lucky. Um, but as you can see, I think with the harsh weather and very harsh weather, they're not really producing anything. Okay, um, there was actually a lot of union movement. Um, I think their union's kind of regrouping now. Um, you can see they've moved a sig significantly more forces into Alexandria. Uh, now up to five divisions. Um, they still have a division here, Porter, who's a good defensive general, uh, in, in, in Frederick. Um, 
let's see, do we get any supply at all in this turn? Um, I don't know, it doesn't look like it. So they still have a little bit of supply left, 11%, but um, yeah, that's not going to be... Um, it's not going to be enough to last for, for too much longer. Johnson's supply is down to um, one more turn. And we have built a depot. So the depot is has actually um, been built. Um, Laurel's Brigade. Yeah, so this guy's we didn't get any supply here at all. So I don't know. It's just a matter of, I think, a question of you know, how soon um, we can get supply. Um, so look at all this very, very harsh weather. So ugh, it's not, <laughs> this does not look good um, at all, you know, for us in a, considering our, our supplies, supply situation. Um, you can see, like, we took all of these hits uh, this time. Yeah, so I'm also to say other than we're in a big, big supply supply crunch. Um, what else happened? Um, just a lot of movement over here. Uh, our, you can see our new generals have arrived. Um, Johnson did move forward, and now you can see um, Griffin's forces still going away. Um, so no other movement. Uh, out west, we did take. Um, we did take Lawrence. Uh, here, though, it looks like, again, we don't have a whole lot of supply left. Um, and there's really no... Yeah, there's actually none. <laughs> there's really no supply here. So um, there's a little bit of supply here, but that's... Yeah. So... I don't know. I guess with weather issues and other things, we're just we're really struggling to be able to supply our forward, uh, supply our forward positions. Even here, you can see that uh, we're having trouble supplying um, McCulloch's division. I didn't see any movement uh, west. Looks like yeah, they're just recovering, um, recovering basically. So there's not much there. It looks like there's just one unit. So it might make sense to begin to move forward. Um, we do have some other forces on the way, some of these uh, horse batteries. All right, let's take a look at the messages. Um, ouch, 91 hits due to lack of supply. That is a lot of loss. Um, yeah, that does not make me feel good at all. Uh, here's the victory, the first victory in Lawrence, and then it actually took us a... Um, a second victory. You can see we did finish building the depot, uh, and here it is. Let's see if we can move rail. Okay, well. Oh, wow. So this time we're going to be able to actually send forward supply. So I don't know. I guess the weather's not as bad this time, but we're going to get hit with another massive wave of, of, um, of losses, without a, without a doubt. Um, we've got some forces that have finished, and we had also have um, some active forces down here, uh, our other um, Native American units. There's another general. Uh, the Provisional Army is locked for another seven turns. Uh, the Arizona Territory um, has been created. Um, yeah, so that's cool. New mounted volunteer brigades in the pool. The unions making a whole bunch of decisions. We have a lot of more options available now. And um, here we go. So this is one thing I was talking about earlier. Smith is now a major general. Smith is actually with uh, is actually with Johnston um, up here. Okay. Uh, Long Street's been promoted to Major General. Holmes has been promoted to a Major General. So probably some of you are wondering why I didn't create divisions out of them. 
Um, basically because now they're going to become our core commanders. Uh, we can also build new um, a new uh, HQ support unit um, as well. And let's see, epidemics in the northwest, so that's our Harbors Ferry in the deep south and in the southwest. And we have a new regional positions. So I'm going to do a lot of thinking this next turn. I, I especially need to see how much supply I can actually get out here. Uh, fortunately, Johnston's force has enough supply for about one more turn. Um, this force does not. Um, so as you can see, they have uh, 13. They only have 13 supply. And they we have 17 supply, and we need 42. Um, so. All right, um, basically 1861 is done and uh, looking forward to probably a very, very busy 1862. All right, see you next time.